is Christmas time, which means just one thing. Christmas we know where Izzy and Bryony can't sing. So get ready, because you're in for a treat for 25 days. It's Musical Mess. day three of our New York vlogs. I haven't vlogged pretty much all morning, it's been really busy, but we're currently on the coast which is headed to Washington, um, Washington DC because we want to do a day trip there. Um, it's currently, our coach leaves at 7am, we'll get there at 1120 so it's quite a hefty coach trip. I've never been on coach for that long since so it's a primary school so I'm just a bit excited. Um, but yeah, it's, it's going to be a good day, the weather's looking nice and we're kind of ready, are you ready? Yeah. I've got loads of snacks as well for the coach. The feeling positive. And also, I've got a travel pillow so I can sleep if I want to sleep, and that just feels great. So, yeah, see you guys later. Right, so we've been given these cards. It was a little bit stressful because for some reason I just thought we're in. Actually, I don't really know why I thought that because in the UK you can't even use an oyster everywhere. I just assumed. In America, you would be able to use a Metro card everywhere, but you can't. We have to buy a new card. And the machines, honestly, must have been made in like the 70s. So confusing. So confusing. How weird, like it wasn't touch screen or anything. Um, thank God it was in English though, because that made it slightly easier. Yeah. Um, <coughs> it's all good though, we're sorted. We've topped this up with enough to get us there and back, which is what we want to do. We're now at Union Station, we're going to get a train, which I think is like four stops or something, all the way to where the White House is, and then everything is in that area, so it's really handy for us. It's just a bit of a stressful time. But here's the station. It's very, like, big, like it's quite open, I really like it. made it into kind of what I think is like the main square in Washington where all the tourists go. It's kind of got really busy so me and Izzy were like wow like there's no one here and then we get to actual like Washington um, and then it's like kind of busy. But this here is the, the United States Department of Treasury and there's a guy called Albert Gallatin. He's Secretary of Treasury, it's very cool. This kind of gives me like White House vibes but I guess it's because a lot of American like buildings here are white. And that's kind of like how they like show that they're like important. Um, so yeah, this looks really cool. It's huge. This guy looks cool. I don't really know what he does. I've never heard of him before. But the weather also has got a warm. As you see, I'm not currently in my jumper anymore. It's like quite hot. And also, we went to Starbucks because I was thirsty. There's literally nothing I can drink in Starbucks. And I understand I am quite fussy. Like. I don't like caffeine and I'm a bit funny on tea like I don't drink it but like there's no frappuccinos or anything that's like milk based in there so I ended up getting the water which is a bit disappointing I mean is he you went for like a caramel frap didn't you yeah but it's got coffee in it does it? Oh, even the because I don't, I don't like caramel or vanilla, and the only other flavour is mocha, and I hate mocha. So kind of was like, oh, no, nah, I can't do that. Oh, I think that's the, oh my goodness, that's the White House. That's one of the people across the road. Oh wow, it's really white, isn't it? Really white. Compared to that, white. <laughs> the way I was like, I was like, this. Hang on, I don't know if you can see it that behind me, is he? That's like off white. Then the White House is like white. It's like really, really white. They must polish it. It must do. Whoa! That's so cool. So yeah, we're gonna see how close we can get. There's lots of trees, which I guess is also to hide like good old Donald Trump's privacy. And yes, Donald Trump is president at the moment. If only it was my old man, good old Barack Obama. But you know what? Although I'm not a fan of Trump, I'm still going to respect his place where he lives and his family and his Ivanka and their children. Oh, this looks exciting. You know what? That gives me Alexandra Hamilton vibes, you know? Or like, something of the sort. I think it would be the same George moment, Washington? Lafayette. Oh my god, if it's Lafayette. Oh, it is! It's Lafayette! Okay, so this dude at the top is Lafayette. 
Lafayette. I'm taking this horse by the race, making red coals, red blood stains. Lafayette. You're never going to stop until I make a drop of red ruffles colour. They're amazing. Sorry, I had to do that. I've got to make a little musical theatre reference. There's also like police here, which obviously is like to keep everyone safe. There's also people with segways. There must be like a segway tour you can do. So here's the White House. And as you can see, there are literally trees covering it, which is lovely. So yeah, there's a White House behind me casually as it is, you know? If only I can live there. <laughs> yeah. Oh, here you go. So, that beauty. Oh, that beauty. We made it to the White House. A lovely little white building in the middle. Oh, only took us like six hours. Casually, as you do. It's weird though to think they're like the actual present of America. Um, hey guys, so we have just left the White House and we've now will go to this building, which I think just looks like one of those like haunted houses, doesn't it? Like, you know, if you're playing Mario Kart, oh my god, wait, it looks like the house of Mario Kart. I don't know if you've ever played. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you, <laughs> you fly out these. I wonder if they got the inspiration from that. It's grey and it's just, it's so, it just looks so haunted. But it says, I think this is it, I think it's called the. Dwight D. Eisenhower, so it's really, really cool name actually. It just looks really scary. <laughs> so yeah, so we're on our way to, uh, what's this over here? Washington Monument we're on our way to. Apparently there's a 7-Eleven scene as well, which your girl Bryony just, she could do with a good 7-Eleven right now. It has got warmer. It's, I think it's because it was so, so cold on the coat. I got off and it got a bit warmer. Now it's like boiling, like, probably 34 degree boiling my body's like freaking out like why is it so hot um it's all good though i'm actually loving today it's so calm our coach back is until half six so we literally have like the whole day here so i don't feel like rushed i can just kind of throw up my leisure um so yeah it's really nice and they're really well signposted around here as well like and there's like tourists doing the same route so we can't really get lost which is great Hey guys, so Izzy feels run to put something in the bed, but I thought I'd vlog and let you know what we're up to, give you a little update. So we ended up going to 7-Eleven. It was a little bit off the route, so it took us like an additional 10 minutes, but it's so hot outside, we like needed something cold. Um, and actually not a lot of things is open, I guess because it's Sunday. In front of me is this giant thing, which I have no idea what it is. I'm pretty sure it's, it's a memorial for someone, but I don't actually know which memorial and who it's for. But it's very pretty, so we're gonna probably won't go super close because I'm not walking up a hill. My legs are tired, but we. <laughs> Both me and Izzy are like low key dying right now. Um, but what we do is we like have a loop round, come down and look at that. Just take it easy, you know. Me and Izzy and heat just don't go together. Like, yeah. mm. but I want to get one of these like electric scooter things. Yeah, I'm so nice. Because it looks so nice. And then the breeze of it, because you're going fast, are oh, lovely. So I made it to the Washington Monument. So as you can see, it's right there. It's right behind me. It's huge. It's absolutely giant. And like, it's quite interesting because it's quite, what I call simple. It's very much, I don't, there's a board over there, so I'm going to have a look in a, mean, like, in a bit to see actually what it's about. Because it's called the Monumental Legacy. Hey guys, I haven't vlogged in absolutely, like literally forever. But can what we did is vlog? we. You can be in the background of it. Hi! <laughs> yeah, we're needed. Um, so we ended up getting higher bikes. So these are like electric bikes. They're from Lime. I have no idea what company that is. But it's literally made our life so much easier because it's so much walking. Me and Izzy were like, nah, we're yeah, not, we're we're not walking it. it. So we've got these scooters here. They're kind of cheap. I think they're like 30p a minute. 30 cents or something a minute, but it's like reasonable for the fact that we literally don't want to walk it. So we've made it to Lincoln Memorial, which is really, really cool. It's super big. And if I zoom in, you should be able to see Lincoln through the column. Oh, you can't see him in here. He's in there somewhere. I think it's too dark to see him right now. But, um,. It's so cool to see him like over here. It seems way bigger than I anticipated it to be. I saw this on like a vlog once, someone being here and I was like, oh, it doesn't look like too big, but it's huge and it's really busy, but it's a really nice area. Um, 
I'm super thirsty though. Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you guys an update on what we've been up to. So obviously we had our highest scooters and we were going around with them. But one of the things is that obviously they're electric so they have a battery and they can die. And essentially when we got them out, mine was already on low battery and Izzy's was on like two. So they weren't fully charged. So they actually started to die on us around when we got to Lincoln Memorial. And um, one of the things that the, I don't know, maybe the government or something do is that you can't actually park your electric scooters within a certain area without being fined which obviously me and Izzy didn't want to happen so we couldn't leave our bikes and go to the Lincoln Memorial and actually go up the steps because number one we couldn't carry them up the steps are too heavy and number two we couldn't leave them because then we would have been fined so we ended up having to take a really long detoured route which has actually been quite pleasant we're down now to the coast area of Washington um, where there's like a giant river which separates Washington and Virginia and um, yeah, so we just kind of had to do that because essentially we didn't want to get fined for it. And now we've, we've had a bit of a break because my feet are so tired. You would think like with an electric scooter it wouldn't be tiring, but you're still having to like focus on my hands like from, it's like cramping from having to push it down so much. Um, oh, I feel like there's like flies in my feet as well. I feel like it's so hot and sweaty. Um, but also another thing is like it's literally just like it's humid and we just need a bit of a rest. I'm hungry as well because I haven't really eaten since on the coach this morning, so I'm a bit peckish. But yeah, that's kind of how it is. Me and Izzy are going to walk back to um, Lincoln Memorial. It, depending on how much energy I have, I may think about walking back up it, or we may think about just walking the route back and on our way back picking up some food. Because although it's 3 p.m. now, we have until 6. Um, 6.30 is when our coach leaves so we're aiming to hopefully well we need to be back at the train station by 6 so ideally we need to be leaving here at about 5.30 at the latest and it's free so we still have quite a while it's just that the issue is is that things are quite far away so although we have time to do some of the other memorials it's getting to them and it's the walking and like it's just a little bit it's a little bit tiring and I'm happy doing it, me and Izzy chose to do this earlier on in our holiday so I doubt we would have been able to actually have the energy to have done this by the end because it's very full on um, and it's not used. It's not like what I'm used to in New York because obviously in New York you, there's like shops as well so that you can pop in and out all the time and get water there's air conditioning here it's like just grass and empty space and then like a couple of stools um, and that's something I'm feeling quite dehydrated because I haven't really drank enough today so yeah Rant over, I'm feeling better though. It's just the sun. I'm a British person, I can't deal with heat. So I'm kind of gutted, I wanted to film some stuff on the bikes, but I don't have, basically the tripod I'm using isn't like a Gorilla Grip, so you can't curl it around the, the handle of a, a bike. And also they go so fast, I probably wouldn't have, because it would drop and I would literally roll over my camera. And also they're really unstable, because they're not, they're not like trikes, they're like literally two wheels. So if I took one hand off, I would literally tip. Um, but just imagine me and Izzy on really fast electric scooters going like 10 miles an hour. That's literally what we're going, 10 miles an hour, wind blowing in our faces, screaming with laughter. Imagine that for like 10 seconds and that would be the montage that I couldn't provide for you. Hey guys, so we made it to the Lincoln Memorial and I managed to get up the stairs and it wasn't actually too bad, which is good. So, as you can see down here, this is like the top. Um, and then over here is where we were before at the Washington Memorial and if I zoom in you can actually see the White House right behind it which is actually such a lovely view so this lake here we actually got our bikes and that's what we biked not our bikes, our scooters, that's what we scooted through but um, we're going to walk that back let me zoom all the way out but I actually, I feel like me and Izzy, we thought it was going to be harder, so like we weren't going to yeah. do it. But actually, I would say my school stairs are like more than that, you know, to get into my sixth floor. I think they just look steep because it's hot. Yeah, it's like, hot. But it's fine. So I'm quickly going to show you um, Lincoln before I go. So there's Lincoln. 